What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Um, Curly. Getting the truck unloaded. So what better time than this to make a video, which I'm going to start doing when I have downtime, just make a video. Do shit that's on my head right now that I got, you know, still fresh and thinking about with the team and everything like that. So let's talk about some moves I believe and I think that the Packers should make to turn the season around. Now, some of this has to do with what we talked about with uh, Big Nate and higher point of view and, and AJ. And these are some things I believe that the Packers should do to uh, get this team over the hump. So internally, internally, what the Packers, I think they should do, they should definitely make a strong run at Razul Douglas, which is, which is probably like top of my list right now of uh, players that I think should return we should try to do whatever we can to get them um you know i don't i don't know if if he's chasing a bag or he's chasing uh you know trying to get to a championship but uh you know if he's willing to come back and he wants to work out something they should try to do whatever they can in their power to get him back um second campbell I think was a was a critical part of our success on defense last year. The quarterback of the defense had the guys where they needed to be. He made plays when he needed to, um, which I believe he was um, he was a critical part of the Packers' success last year. Um, Zadarius, for the amount of money that I believe Zadarius wants. Um, for the amount of money he's going to demand this year, um, the amount of money on the books he's going to want, I think we let him walk um, and try to use that money to definitely bring Preston Smith back. Higher point of view, you hit it right over the head. To me, the most improved player last year for our team, him and Gary. I, I believe Gary edged him out there to me. Um, I, I think he made a, a, a big jump from year one to two, Rashawn Gary. But for the player Preston is, I'm kind of, that's what you kind of expect from him. But I think he did definitely make strides to deserve to come back. Um, now, this situation with, with with this player and i know when we when we did the stream yard we talked about this player i think this year you let kevin king walk um because that is money that you can hopefully lure razul douglas back with so you know i i i don't see wasting money on on him when we can try to sure up razul and possibly draft uh, another uh stud which which Goot has been awesome with doing he's he's drafted some studs on in the in the on the defensive backfield so i think we can you know definitely have jair stokes bring in a a a, a fresh rookie to learn from a slot uh rookie bring wazul you got one two and three locked up right there so you know i would use a draft pick definitely on him on 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 getting um not on him, but I'm saying use a draft pick um, and bring in a, a guy that's going to start day one instead of giving him money that we can use towards keeping Campbell and keeping Razul. Um, I think if, you, if you're able to get Razul, perfect. If you're not able to get Razul, then you will possibly try to get King back, um, you know. But uh, that's going to depend on what Razul want to do. If Razul will stay, King need to walk. Because that's also money you can use for Campbell. So that's going to play out big. Um, let's try to find some more free agents. Uh, let, let's let's bring back Merciless. Let's try to find some free agents in, in free agency to bring in and help on the defensive side of the ball where we can use a lot of those picks to get weapons for Aaron Rodgers. Now let's go on the other side. Other side, we definitely, definitely, we have to get some dynamic, players some speed on the back uh, with, with rogers period we got to get some we got to get some studs out there we got to get some people that can stretch the field 
and stay healthy. Now, I know um, Valdez Scanlon it might get about $10 million a year. I don't think we really do that right now. I think we let him walk. We let Tanya and walk, and we try to drive. DeGuar is doing good. There are some stud wide receivers this year. There are some stud tight ends. I think we let both of those guys go, for one, because we don't want any more money counting against the cap for players that we know can come in and make a difference. So I think we definitely let Valdez Scanlon walk. We let Tanya and walk. And we try to find some players to come, um, you know, because we got to get dynamic on offense. We got to get some speed on the field and we got to get some big time playmakers on the field. And I think Valdez had a better year than his last year, but it still wasn't a great year for me to say, let's keep him for $10 million. I'm not doing it. OK, I'm not doing that. I would let him walk and I would let Tony and walk. Let Valdez test the test the waters. I don't think no one is just jumping out the park for Valdez Scanlon. Maybe he comes back for less money. Maybe he's willing to take less. But I'm not giving him ten year, over ten. I'm, I'm giving him ten million dollars. Okay, I'm not, and I'm not giving Tony over ten million, especially coming off a, a, a ACL. So, um, like I said, in the draft, we need to. Oh, let's go on the other side. Special teams. I almost forgot about them. We need to bring in some speed. A, a dynamic returner Cordell Patterson would be perfect I think I think he would be perfect for one he could play offense he can be a wide receiver that could stretch the field that can that can kill two birds one stone if you sign Cordero Patterson that's why I say you do not want to be giving these guys all this money when you have players that you know can make an impact now you understand that can stay healthy because we don't know how long Tanya is going to be out Valdez is up and down. He'll play four games, miss two games, play two games, miss one game. He, we can't keep going through that, okay? Just, just plain and simple. Um, Cobb, if you could bring back Cobb for a veteran minimum, million dollars, something like that, that'd be perfect. If not, let him walk. But, like I said, on the special teams, we need some motherfucking smash mouth blockers, and we need a fucking dynamic returner. I think Cordero Patterson could help with two sides of the ball, offense and special teams. And it won't be a lot of money. So that would be somebody I would, that would be the highest. That would be the number one person on my board right now. You understand? To get, because he can help me as a wide receiver and he can help me as a returner. Um, And like I said, man, the main thing is getting this team some weapons. Rodgers needs some weapons. He can't keep eyeing Adams all the time. He's eyeing Adams. Why? Because that is the main weapon we have on offense. Other than Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, Lazard, eh, was ready in the NFC Champions, I mean, NFC Divisional. He, he, he was wide open on a couple plays. So we need some people that's going to go in there and, and demand the ball, take some pressure off Devontae for the fucking chance. And that's what the fuck we need to do. So, that's what I think we need to do. Some more shit come to mind. Oh, I almost left this out. Big Nate, I honestly think we need to we need to we need to shoot to get Bobby Wagner. We need to try to get Bobby Wagner. You bring Campbell back. You bring Wazul, Bobby Wagner, Merciless, Preston Smith. Rashawn Gary, Amos, Savage, Jair, Stokes, <laughs> Slayton. I think Slayton will have a, a big year. We got to make some moves, man. We got to make some moves. We got to get over this hump. And I honestly think Goot is in progress. He's trying to get this cap situation settled. But once he gets his cap situation settled, he's going to figure out what he needs to do. Because we don't want to keep pushing money. And we want to make sure we get Devontae his contract. But we need to bring in some studs, man. There are a lot of guys out there that we know can help. Can help, man. So other than that, man, that's what I think are some immediate moves that can help this team stay relevant where they at. And possibly make them better. Use those draft pick and bring in some weapons. Sure up the offensive line a little bit. 
maybe one or two there. But we don't need to be drafting no inside linebackers. That's the quarterbacks of our defense. We don't need to, need to be drafting no inside linebackers. When we got Campbell, give him a three-year deal, something like that, something that's, something that's reassuring him that we want him here for a while. No one-year shit. No. If you sure up some positions for three, four years, you're good. They got to start sharing up shit for Rodgers. Because I know for sure they want to give Devontae his, his contract. He'll possibly get that next year once we get, get these books right this year. Okay? So other than that, y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all got any players out there who I missed? Any moves y'all think we should do other than what I said? Or do you agree? Let me know. So y'all know what to do, man. Like, comment, and subscribe to the next video, man. I'll let y'all. Peace.